Since the State Board of Education voted to intervene in St. Louis Public Schools, there's been a lot of confusion about exactly what impact that's going to have on St. Louis County school districts. Just as confused have been many of the state legislators from those areas. This weekend, State Senators John Loudon and Retta Days both appeared on a PBS show to discuss many topics, including St. Louis Public Schools. Well, since you're both here and you're both from the St. Louis area, early in the session, uh, one of the major issues we heard legislative leaders talking about was addressing the issue with the St. Louis public schools. And so I feel we'd be remiss having both of you here to not talk about that. Um, the State School Board of Education has taken some steps, preliminary steps, to possibly take over the district uh, this summer if there aren't some changes. Senator Days, um, where do you think things stand? Are you pleased with the way things are going? Have lawmakers done what they ought to do? Well, I, I think that the uh, State Board is uh, a bit premature. They have done this before. I'm one of the uh, senators who's one of the school districts that I represent was taken over. And I will tell you that there has been no appreciable uh, increase in test scores or anything else with that school district. And so uh, that is a very small school district, uh, maybe 700 students. And so if you look at the city of St. Louis with 35,000 students, I don't see how the state is going to make that an, an impact, the impact that they say they want to make make uh, with that. So that, that is a, a, of a concern to me, uh, making sure that you go in with a plan. There's been no plan that we've been presented. And of course, there are the senators who represent uh, St. Louis City are putting together legislation, you know, to block it. I understand that the school board itself will file a lawsuit for that. So it's, it's something that is just unfolding. I th think this is just the beginning. Senator Loudon, we've got two weeks left in session. Have Lawmakers let down the city of St. Louis public schools this session, in your opinion? Oh, well, I think we've, uh, we've left, let them down for the last 20 years, and we're finally doing something about it. I take a different, respectfully different view with Senator Days. As somebody who's been in St. Louis County my entire life, I've heard the constant stories, the constant reports of failure, and you know, people, other people around the states have heard it, too. Now, while there are, in fact, as Senator Days was saying earlier in our private side conversation, there are some schools buildings that will do well but by and large the district is a mess and the question always seems to be well just send us more money and we'll fix it and it never gets fixed we've tried desegregation and the additional dollars have poured into that you're spending twelve thirteen thousand dollars per pupil uh, there are school districts around the state that would love to have that but there really is not a large urban population school district in the country that does very well uh, they all seem to be letting down their kids by and large, and I think it's very tough to educate uh, 40,000 kids under one state bureauc one bureaucracy. Too many kids fall through. Well, it's very interesting that uh, the senator mentioned 20 years, and I, I would go back to the fact that uh, the St. Louis City School District has been under court order for most of all of those years and so the leadership has not really come from the district itself it has been in court and so whatever decisions that were made had to go through the courts before they were made so I'm saying that to say that uh, St. Louis City is a different situation and I don't know about those other schools being in uh, in the courts or being part of a desegregation plan but that has truly hampered the local leadership in my opinion to get things done before the program, uh, Senator Days, we were visiting, and you mentioned that not all of the schools in St. Louis are failing, and that, that sometimes everybody in St. Louis gets lumped into that category of failing. Could you just talk a little bit about that and why you think that's an important point in this conversation? Of course it is, because you have parents who are, uh, have children in those schools, and they don't want to say, well, my school's failing. Uh, these children are doing quite well. The magnet schools are doing well. Some of the charter schools are doing well. Uh, some of them are not, of course. But I think that you just cannot paint the entire district with a broad brush like that. It is indeed a large school district, and so I think that you have to take out uh, the good things that are happening, and the positive things that are moving forward and try to replicate those. And again, I think that part of that, that concern has to be because there have, have been little leadership on the local level that can actually do that, that, that has basically come from the courts. And so, you know, we're moving the courts out now and hopefully we'll be able to get back to a board that can actually lead the district and move it forward. Senator Loudon, I know you're interested in this idea of school choice. How does that interact with the situation in St. Louis? Well, uh, my parents were transferred from Chicago when my mother was carrying me, and I had two older brothers. Uh, they said, where are the best schools? Uh, that was the one question, and they were going to buy a house in the neighborhood that had really good public schools. And so they have choice. Now, if you've got an urban core where large single-family-headed household, large, extraordinary percentage, 
you have low high school graduation rates, you have high level of poverty, free and reduced lunch, and then you add organized labor that is uh, working through the politicians to have its piece of that huge level of, of funding, I think that that creates a big problem. So I think sometimes, no matter how we've changed it, the, you watch these campaigns about every four years, there's a new slate of four candidates that are going to come in and turn it around. And they come in and, and it, nothing changes. You get a new school board and very little changes. And so my sense is you, you've, we've just, it's immoral to keep these poor kids locked into a system that fails them year after year after year. 70% graduation rate is absolutely unacceptable. Senators, thank you so much for your time. You're Appreciate welcome. it.